good. We're all set. No. Hey, Coach, uh, <laughs> Mickey made an adjustment when he became the head coach to change the off day uh, to Monday, and I'm just wondering what positive changes have you seen from that? Uh, maybe how has that helped you as a coach to have an extra day to game plan, things like that, before practice begins? That, that, that was, for me, that was what I was used to anyways. You know, so I hadn't been the other way. You know, so I, I don't think it – I think in this circumstance, sometimes you just – change is, change can be good. You know, if you're struggling that way, it's, you know, you're hitting it bad off the tee, you go to a three-wood, you know, or, or change the ball or something that way. So just the change part and just being positive, I think it was just nothing really that, you know, didn't hurt, help the first week, but then just kind of got into it and, you know, and it's just – Kind of how what we know how we're doing it I right now. Have you seen the players respond positively to that to that change? Well, I've seen them be positive the whole time, you know, and I, I I think I've seen them grow together as a team a little bit more, um, and that just kind of we have a lot of new coaches on offense. I still don't know all the guys' names on defense. We got so many kids, but you're so worried about your side. So I think that that part, and and obviously if you win some games that. You win games, it, it brings you back, it brings you together. So they believe more, you know. So they gain confidence. You know, it's hard to gain confidence when you lose. Mark, what do you see particularly in, in, in his role, in his involvement, in the team growing again? When, when you, you know, I'm not. I just see him in the meetings, and he comes in, and sees me every morning or something, and then the afternoon. But I don't. I don't know what he's. You know, I know what he's doing because I've been a head coach for 21 was. You know, because he's coming and said, man, I don't know about this stuff. But that's just part of it. So, uh, you know, he's, he's still wants to be involved in the football part, which he's doing a good job. Some of the things we may add or stuff that way. So um, I just think uh, I, I just think the entire staff has stayed positive and, and not early on. It's it's not woe is me. And guy, I think both sides of the ball built together and I thought it was really great camaraderie in the locker room afterwards um, you know just finding a way to, to win and that's what it's about at, at, at any level especially you know where we're at right now No, we, we talked. I mean, I, I, I don't – I was a head coach for, I don't know, 220 games in the NFL for 100 games, and that's what I've always done. So kind of that way, been in a bunch of situations. Whether you want to use a timeout and we got one left, I'm going to use it here. Let's, you know, talking to Casey, I kind of blew the one. Uh, they had a penalty, and I thought – I didn't think they'd start the clock ball went out, and it went. So I held Casey up and probably should have snapped it about eight seconds longer. Which is saved us eight. You know, that, that kind of goes down to I was fortunate to be with Bill Cower. I think his record was one and seven, 77 and one when he was ahead by 10 points. And he was always up my rear and Ben Roethlisberger's rear to snap it with one second. So we can get it to two. And so we've practiced it, but we've gotten better at it. And, uh, you know, just talking with Mickey and Coach Bush and, and what we want and what we need to do and how here's what I'm, our thoughts are during the week. and. I watch both sides of the ball anyway, just a creature of habit. Um, and it just what you need to win, you know? And it wasn't like, hey, last week was, hey, we, the best thing about last week, not going back, was when I walked in at halftime, the look in their eyes on offense, and we played terrible, and I did a bad job coaching, all that, and we're bad on third down, was there wasn't, like, woe was me. It was, Hey, I said, we're going to take the ball second half. Here's the plays. We're going to go down and score, and the game will be changed right there, and we're going to win the game. And that's it. And, and uh, they all believed in it, and that's a credit to Mickey and to the offensive coaches and all the guys that way. Sometimes you go into, like, a little band box locker room like they had, and you can't see anybody. It's like junior high, but they, they kind of get – they're closer together and everything else. And so that's – when you win on the road, it can, it can really help you, and I'm, I'm – you know, we're looking forward to playing Purdue. He's got a really, really good football team. Hey Mark, I, I know you don't want to get into specifics maybe, but what in general can you do with the O-line? 
midstream and sort of fix some of those those past pro issues? What, what's sort of on your mind as you kind of take? Well, we went did the silent count, and I did a bad job. Uh, Could have helped out a little bit more um, on that, you know. The ironic thing was we only had one sack. <laughs> But, you know, if you look at stats, that's how, how misleading it could be. But the second half kind of um, settled down and did some other stuff that way. And, um, you know, we just, hey, you go on the road, it's, it's hard to win anywhere. And it's hard to win at home. It's hard to win on the road. And um, we just didn't have any rhythm. We didn't have any uh, kind of. But, as I said, the kids showed a lot of resolve. And that was the most important thing. It's, you know, showed a lot of heart and uh, found a way. Talked about those guys believing. Do you see that O line still have confidence? Yeah, I, I, they can do? They, they, everybody knows when you don't play well. And, and I didn't need, I knew as a coach, I didn't play, I, I coached crappy. Uh, we had a bad week. We had our worst week of practice. We only had one day in the, to, to work hard and get some things. We weren't very good that day, and I carried over. And the positive was I talked to them. Sunday and, and said we got to have our best week of practice. You guys learned you can't practice like that and expect to play well. All right, and uh, we, we've we've really flipped it this week. Has been the two best days we've had all year, and and that's a pot. Now they had a day off, and I think that helped. They weren't really ready for the short week. How big was it to get Travis? I know he's been kind of digged up from that first game, but to kind of get him going in that passing game again. Yeah, I know he's a big guy and a, you know he's a leader and. You know, he, he made some big plays, especially, you know, the touchdown, but another one. And then, you know, I told him we we're going to go for, go to him on third down in the, in the, in the, in the four-minute deal, uh, figuring we were going to get man. So it made a big big catch there. Um, you know, and all those guys, Coach Beck's done a good job with all those guys. Travis has been a, a guy that's important. We missed him those couple days. And, you know, he, he can be a real factor, especially in the red area. Why, why didn't you trust your offense to get that one yard on fourth down? Because four previous fourth downs, we ran it every time. And we missed it on third and two. And, and uh, we've got to be careful with Anthony. And it was the exact same play that Ohio State had. And we dropped the ball. So that's, that's why. So those are the reasons, you know. So, you know, we've been pretty good. The last, we missed fourth and two, and we missed fourth and two twice against Oklahoma and ran it. And, so that was the thought. We got the look we wanted. I was standing right next to the, told Mickey, I was gonna, if I don't like the look, I'm going to get a timeout. Then we talk about whether well, kick a field goal, what you like that way. But we like the look, and we just didn't execute it. So Tommy Hill working out with the receivers. What was kind of the thought process behind you know, him working on the offensive side? How much maybe input? Uh, you know, he's, he's go back and forth. He can be in the defensive sub packages, and he's just getting a little work. We're just trying to build some depth, you know, we weren't sure where Marcus was going to be, and then and all these guys got nicked up, and so guy can run and and uh, has done a good job returning. So just trying to work his ball skills and and getting ready for the off week, you know, saying hey, practicing a little bit now, and with the off week we can maybe get him so at the end of the season we, we can play both ways. How much of a challenge is that for a guy mid-season? To He's really embraced it, you know. So you know, it's it's a. Uh, but he hadn't been under the lights, you know, that way. So, um, but it also gives us some depth in case something happens. We can get get some plays possibly, and we, we'll talk. We talk more about that on tomorrow since we had all the guys back today, which was good. Like last week, we didn't have Brody. Trey was nicked. All right, uh, Oliver was a little bit nicked. So um, that was just kind of the thought process. All right, two more. Let's just see what happened. Yeah, no, I mean, he's done that. He did that in the NFL. And I didn't do a good job of telling Casey beforehand, I almost called timeout, but Coach Riola had talked about it, you know, where they submarine your, your deep offensive lineman. So, um, as I said, I almost the time I said, no, nah, it won't be a problem. We had any problem with snaps. In case the ball was right there, so we had it, you know. But that's, that's kind of what, what he's done in, in his career. What challenges? Veteran, veteran group all over the place. Graham's back, who's a really good player, number six. They got guys up front and can rush the passer and play physical. The back end's veteran. 
Um, their corners have been back there. You, you look down, it's senior, redshirt senior, junior, all the way through. They're not playing any young guys. Um, they're playing at home. They won three in a row. They come up and made big plays when they have to, so uh, it's, it's a real challenge for us. It's the best team we've played, I'd say, since Oklahoma, but people would not say that Oklahoma played well against us, so it's, it's, a, it's a huge challenge for us. Good. Okay, thanks.